So now, if you don't know who you are, then the question is, who are you? Like Peter, you could be settling for an identity that's not even who you are. And that's what some of you've done. You've been doing what you've been doing so long, the enemy has tried to convince you that this is you. Just the way I am. That's just the way I feel. That's just my struggle. That's just what I deal with. But could it be that there is a whole nother man in you that you ain't ever been introduced to? Could it be that there is a whole nother man down on the inside of you that just like Peter, it's totally opposite of the way you've been functioning in your whole life? Men, I came to tell you there is greatness in this room. There are kings in this room. There are no inmates in this room. Unless you want to keep living a lie. but I do what I do because I, you know, I, I just do it. I ain't faking. I, I keeps it real. You ain't keeping it real because the real you is in the image and likeness of God. Yeah. Yeah, the real you. Yeah, yeah. And so to run from God is to, in essence, run from yourself because you will never know who you are outside of him. And so you must find, number one, your identity. Number two, when you find your identity, then now you know your destiny. My identity is who I was created to be. Your destiny is what I was created to do. Woo. See, you want to know why the stage ain't reversed tonight and I'm not sitting down there and you are not up here it's because I simply found out what my purpose is I know what I was born to do I know who I am. My identity is that I am a son of God. I act like one. I live like one. And the, and the reason I try to abstain from sin and all of that stuff, it's not just so I could be some righteous religious bigot. No, it is because once you understand your true identity, and once you know that you were created to be a son of God, why should I leave the Father's house in search of stuff I already got? Good God Almighty. Woo because there ain't nothing you're going to find out there that the Father hadn't already gave you. And the truth of the matter is you won't have to sin to get it. That's why I can be blessed. And I'm on my way to being real rich. But I didn't have to sell no drugs to get the money. Woo! Good God Almighty. I didn't have to chase no women. He that finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. You understand? I didn't have to run around searching and hooking up with different groups and cliques and clubs and gangs trying to find my identity. I don't run to people to find my identity. People run to me to find my identity because I know who I am. And I don't need nobody to tell me. I am the son 
of the living God. I'm one of God's children. So now, so now I'm done with identity. That's identity. You got to know identity. But then number two, you got to know destiny because destiny deals with the path of your life. What is your purpose? Do you know why you were created? Because there is an old saying that says, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. And can we admit tonight that on God's road to your purpose, the Telford unit wasn't in his plan? Which means somewhere you had to get off the path that God had for you. But I got good news for you. Even though it wasn't in his original plan for your life, God operates with supernatural GPS. Some of you might not know what that is, but it's a guidance system. That you can, oh, you, you probably know what it is. Most of you do, but some of you might not. Where today, if I wanted to go somewhere, I could just plug in the address in my phone. And Siri, or, or the woman, or the man, whoever you got talking for you, will talk the whole route out for you. You don't even have to think. Just plug in the address. And the car talks to you. The phone talks to you and tells you where to go. That's called global positioning system, GPS. I know where I'm going and they take me there. The good news about GPS is that sometimes I'm not paying attention to Siri talk to me. And I'll end up making a wrong turn or the wrong exit or there's some construction on the road. And I get off the course. When I get off the course, what happens is they begin to recalibrate my position and then give me instruction from where I am so that even though it wasn't a path to take, they can still get me there even though I took a wrong turn. What did I come in here to tell you tonight, men? That this might have not been God's plan for your life. You might have took some wrong turns, but I came in here tonight to tell you, God's got a God global system on your life. He knows where you're at, and I got good news for you. He can still get you to your destiny from the Telford unit. If you listen to him, he can still get you back on course with your life. But you got to. You got to be committed to his purpose. Your way ain't working. <laughs>